What's this? That is the finest 2018 Ontario Leaders Award. Beauty, eh? Beautiful. So this is uh, Chef Jay Barnard and welcome Lake to Plate. Uh, we missed last week because we were busy flying to uh, Bowmanville and Newcastle. They're technically all called Clary Clarington. We yeah, met the, the mayor. Clar He's a good guy. The Claren. But this is the uh, beautiful award that we got from the province of Ontario. Jeff Leal, who's a champion in the Agri Foods. Huh. Didn't want to turn that, that up. Didn't... Quiet on set. <laughs> Quiet on set. Bob Johnson, we're live on TV right now. What, what do you mean, what's the answer? Security answers Bob, B O B. Well, it's just B O B. Okay. 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 Right. Right. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. I'll, I'll give you a call. Yeah, okay, bye. All right. We're back. That might be a positive thing, Torn. Do you think? Do you know what that call was? I know exactly what it was. It was the truck call. <laughs> it was the truck call. 
Over here at Freshwater Cuisine, we've been waiting for a reefer truck. We'd like to say thank you to Bob Johnson. Bob Johnson, if you're watching, thank you, brother. This is the 2018 Summit Award that we just got. We want to thank the province, Jeff Leal, uh, who is a champion agri foods, correct? Correct. Awesome. So, we're pairing up with the Clover Belt for a Love Local Box. It's our fifth Love Local Box. Oh, fifth Love Local Blocks. Blocks? Box, blocks, box, blocks. Anyways, Love Local Box. And we're doing a white fish burger. Burger with a roasted vegetable, local roasted vegetable salad. Yachty? Sounds good. Yachty. Okay, so uh, look at the beautiful white fish, eh? Yeah, so everyone in their Love Local Box got one pound of ground white fish. This is one pound of ground white fish. And, uh,. Did they get the vegetables and the buns too? Or? Yeah, they got the buns. They got <laughs> they got the buns. They got the lettuce. They got the uh, just on set. You want to give me a call back? Sweet potatoes. Company address: eighteen Sunnyside Road. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Bye. <clears throat> Live on set. Do you want to talk about what's in the Love Local box? I was just saying that there while you were on the phone. <laughs> it seems to be one of these things that, uh, you know, in business, uh, what do you do, Torn? Do you turn the phone on? It might be a good idea for about 15 minutes. Really? Maybe on silent, yeah. I would uh, <laughs> probably just put her on silent for a good 15. <laughs> Is it Kuwait in Ontario or Kenora? Kenora. They amalgamated. Darn. Kenora. Ontario. Uh, I guess we make it underneath the 9623400? Yeah. I can't believe three people are still watching this. Hats off to you. That's <laughs> <laughs> murders. Operating. Some... Uh, what is it, OA? Why? Yep. Lucy. Lucy looks a little <laughs> bored. Just wondering when the uh, cooking's going to start. Okay, so uh, back on board. So that's the ground white fish. We're going to hop right into um, doing the uh, roasted vegetables tornado. We're going to do Don't this. Don't put that there. That is hot. That will cook. cook. <clears throat> okay, so you need to set your oven up at 400 degrees. Get yourself a bowl, a sheet pan, and... Uh, Sweet potato. Torn knows me. I like to keep the skin on, right, Torn? Lots of skin. <laughs> it's all about the skin. Uh, and just some religions would say it might be a little too much skin, but <laughs> not here. Not here. We not like all the skin we can get. We like all the skin we can get here. So we're using a sweet potato. We're using a local white, nope, red onion. You know, they call them red, but they're purple. Yeah, why do they call I, them? I don't know. We're using, uh... Did that come in the box? Nope, this came out of our fridge. There it's is called, mold on that pepper. It's called, <laughs> it's called trimming it up and it's using a, it. Look at that, that's got to go. I mean, really any vegetable you want to add in there. Yeah, whatever you have in your fridge. So if it's uh, No Waste Wednesday... Oh, no, it's, it's Thursday. Thursday. Okay, that's going in there. Grace on there yet? No, uh, Jason Boucher is making fun of the fact that your phone keeps going off. Hey, that's how it goes. Uh, what else we got in there? Uh, well, beets. These things, the beets. Yeah. Oh, that's why you're wearing the gloves. That's why I was wearing the gloves. I love beets. Do you like your beets with a little glass on the side? I do. And, uh, look at that, eh? Colorful. For this time of year, very colorful, isn't it? <clears throat> very simple, very easy. What are you seasoning her with? Cleaner, cleaner, wiener. Um, this is going to go here, that's going to go there. Then we get some, uh, well, some pepper, salt, some of Grace's fine. What do we got, Jala crazy good jalapeno? I think so. A little toss. Look how colorful that is, right? Nice, uh, nice color. And just onto the pan. Onto the pan. 
They go in there for about 45 minutes, 400. Until they're nice and... How uh, easy was that? El Dante? <coughs> El Dante. I like them a little more than El Dante, a little mush. Okay, so this is our uh, one pound of ground white fish. It's a beautiful, uh, beautiful fish. So what we're going to do, one egg. We're going to... Mm. Take off these to, off for a second, off just so we don't uh, cross contaminate. Cross contaminate. Let's use some more Grace's uh, jalapeno. Jalapeno. So I guess if uh, they're at uh, Clover Belt, they could buy yeah, this. Yeah, it's at right. <laughs> they come in those. That's at the uh, Clover Belt, the Safeways in Dryden, Kenora, <coughs> and Thunder Bay. I got a little of the jalapeno in my throat. <laughs> so we're gonna do about two tablespoons of that. Uh, <laughs> Okay, and then uh, another thing that you can... <laughs> on the clover belt. Get at the clover belt still or Yeah, no? it's still on the clover belt. Okay, we have our original crumbs, so we're using the crumbs as a binder. You could use any bread crumb, preferably ours though. How much? Preferably ours, and actually preferably if you'd go buy cuppers uh, in Dryden and get all the, uh, <coughs> all the uh, crumbs you want from him, right? So how many uh, tablespoons of crumbs That's is about that? three. Three tablespoons of crumbs. And then if you have a grill, tabletop grill. What's uh, going on here? You gassing me out? No. I think it's the uh, something in the uh, air. Yeah, it must be in the air. So then we have our grill set at uh, 400. Nice and hot. Nice and hot. A little bit of pan. We're going to form our patties. Yeah, I just need to get some ham on there, though. No? You don't want your burgers sticking to the grill. No. Let that heat up for a little bit. Then we're going to... You can already tell we need a little bit more crumbs. We're gonna up it from three. Up it from three. See, it's a good thing we don't send the recipes out in advance. <laughs> so we're gonna go four tablespoons. Four. We're gonna double it. Five. Five six, six tablespoons of going for seven. Seven tablespoons of crumb, one egg, two tablespoons of seasoning, and one pound of white fish. So unlike pike, white fish. Not a lot of binder. No, no binder in white fish. There's no natural fat in it. It's a great fish to smoke. But when it comes to making any kind of sausage or making any kind of uh, hamburger or any kind of meatball, fish ball, anything like that, you need a binder. It's oh, a really... We're up to eight tablespoons. Yeah. <clears throat> Nine, Nine tablespoons. Ten, eleven. Let's just call it a cup. One cup of crumbs. That's one cup. Uh, so for me, I like to just slowly go in. Right, because there it is. Now, see how it's coming together now? Now it's coming together. It's beautiful. Nicely done. Okay, then now we form them. So you can make them as big as you want. We got these buttons here. You're probably going to want a bit of a thinner burger. Yep. See how it's sticking nicely together now? But if this was a northern pike, you wouldn't even have to add anything, eh, Torn? No, northern pike. We're originally going to do northern pike, but we had some uh, ground whitefish available, so that's what you got. What you looking for? One. Going to cook us up two right now. Yeah. Save a third for later. Save a third for later. So you can do these on a fry pan, you can do these on a barbecue, you can do these in the oven. Uh, you could do these in the deep fryer. Yeah. Uh, you could do this with any, you know, however It's you very know. versatile. Very versatile. We're going to do it on a grill. We're going to do it on the grill. You know, it's a nice day out today. Grilling seems appropriate. You want to go stand outside and grill it? I was going to actually go fire up our barbecue out there. Blink. <coughs> oh, I'm just uh, taking a look. It seems to have ran off to northwest England. Okay, so we we'll crank open our uh, barbecue. If you live in Northwest England and know of a missing barbecue, <laughs> please contact us. We'd like it back. Yeah, it uh, could be at a place called Mo Nibs. There it, it is. Smells good. Okay, so now all we do is let them cook. <laughs> How easy is that? Maybe we should have done the patties first, then done the salad. What do you mean? We still gotta put our, we still gotta put our uh, 
buns together. Oh, yes. You're going to toast them up? I'm going to toast them up. Okay, let's see. What are we going to use for our... Here's a question for you. <laughs> you know, we should get a dishwasher. Hey, do frames. You want to sponsor a show? All we ask for is dishwasher. All we're asking for is a new oven, a new fridge, and a I, dishwasher. I, I would settle for just the dishwasher. Yeah, I'd settle for just the dishwasher, too. Okay, boom. I'd settle for a used dishwasher. <clears throat> yeah, I would, too. Anybody got a used dishwasher they want to sponsor us? Or get rid of? Or, or... get rid of? Okay, these are homemade buns from the uh, Clover Yeah, Bowl. it didn't say where they're from, but if you have the Love Local box, it probably does. They're very nice size. Oh, they're nice and soft. Whole wheat. Healthy for you. The uh, kids will probably be all over this. I'm thinking, right? I, I would think so. I think so too. Gonna want to get a serrated knife. We're also gonna want to get uh, the finest of Shelly McBride old flippers. Flippers. Look at that. Not quite ready. Not yet. <clears throat> Leave that there. Okay, now. cut beauty how's the uh hmm. ha. got a little bit of a problem here is the butter a little hard yes it's okay though let's turn up some heat <coughs> so folks if you have cold butter and you're living in a shack like us let's turn your oven on melt down some butter it's a lot of butter Polly Bean. Yes, we want lots of butter. Okay. Then we got... Uh... <laughs> so then we got some uh, local lettuce. We're going to put some local tomato on there. We have some... We have some red onion or did you use it all? No, nope, red onion. We're going to have some tartar sauce. Yeah? Yeah. If you watched our previous videos, you know how to make the tartar sauce. If not, go back and watch them. I do not recall what episode it was. <laughs> or your store brand tartar will do. Or you ketchup. Can, you can find it all on YouTube. Mostly. With a lot of data on YouTube. There you go. Beautiful, eh? Just like that. Get some butter going here. Uh, what else is going on? Oh, I guess I'll be out in uh, Ottawa, March twentieth to the twenty third. About a month from now. Yeah, a month from now. Uh, <clears throat> sharing about hope with the uh, Salvation Army. Hey, eh? yeah. I'm going back to my stomping grounds where I went to treatment, uh, the Anchorage Boost Center, which I'm uh, very grateful for, and the uh, Ottawa Boost Center and the Ottawa Salvation Army. Actually, the Salvation Army uh, worldwide is phenomenal, and uh, I'm I'm just blessed that I've been given the opportunity to go back because uh, I haven't been in Ottawa. In Six years. It's a great organization. It is. Okay, so you know me. Looks like to put a little bit of butter on here. A little bit. Pool. A little pool. Right. A little pool. <clears throat> then we just go over here. So we're doing, folks. Just taking a little bit of butter so we can grill it. Give the uh, vegetables a stir. Good old, eh? Oh, Chris, the tattoo artist, is watching. Chris, you in Winnipeg, buddy? I see. The, I'll see you soon. Gotta go. Okay. Nice one to stop in, though. <clears throat> Boom. Burgers are roasting nicely. Mm, one's a little thin. Okay, well that's cooking. How'd that happen? Wow. There's our. Uh... Give me and pull them out of the stove. You're really giving away the tricks here on camera. <laughs> uh, hmm. So we're making a chilled roasted vegetable salad. We are. It's chilled. Nicely toasted bun. 
nicely toasted top. Let's let these sit a little bit longer. Cook nice and thoroughly. So then we're gonna want to get. Uh, Tartar. Tartar. Sure. Nice tartar, eh? Yeah. So for those who missed the last video, what was in this tartar? It was mayonnaise, pickles? Mayonnaise, pickles, uh, ketchup? Was I, it ketchup? I think it was ketchup. Ketchup? Um, what else was in there? I think that was it. Maybe yeah, a little simple. salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. <clears throat> very simple to make your own tartar at home. Bit of red onion on there. Red onion goes very nicely with uh, fish. Me, I like uh, a lot of red. I like a lot. So do you? I, I do like red onion. Okay, then we got uh, oh, nice fresh tomato. Does this come with the clover belt? No, no. I don't know where they'd be getting fresh tomatoes this time. Bring your own tomato. Byt. That's beautiful, isn't it? Okay, there's that. Okay, so that's good to go. Now we're gonna take uh, a little Cupper's dressing. So, we also uh, support Johnny at Cupper's. So this another is proud Clover Belt member. Another, yeah, another proud Clover Belt member. So if you wanted to get your own Cupper's salad dressing, uh, you can head on over there, or you can go see Johnny there. <coughs> so we're gonna take this torn. We're going to. Um, how come we have no? This will work. Oh, hey. Okay. I mean, you can try to do it in that bowl, no? Do, 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 oh, the famous do, do, do. walkie walkie. There's the old walkie walkie. So here's our nice salad. Take some of Johnny's sauce. Bit of, up. Uh, we'll kick it up. We'll kick we'll it up. Put this there. Um, one of these here. A little side tin of salad. Nice cold roasted vegetable salad. Nice, beautiful color to it. Yeah, I like it. Nice root vegetable color for the winter time. I love beets. I don't know about you, but sounds a little crunchy. Nope. Al dente. Yeah, that's gonna go there. Nicely cooked. We're looking at about one third pound patties. Now, if you want to uh, take some cheese, certainly didn't come in the clover <laughs> belt. Just throw a little bit of cheese on there. I always thought you were a craft singles man myself. <laughs> Let that melt up and, uh, oh. Little touch, eh? You're all about the garnish, eh? Yeah, you don't have to be as fancy as me, but uh, sometimes it's cool to be uh, fancy. No, Torn? Ah, uh, you know my thoughts on that. <laughs> You don't understand it. I find it pretentious. <laughs> okay, gonna... the cheese is coming along. Almost. Or not. Depends how melty you like. Maybe you like it al dente. Okay, here's a question. Should we cook some bacon? You gonna fry up a quick slice of bacon? Bacon cheese fish burger? Okay, 
I might as well throw a nice little slice of bacon on there. Finest thick cut bacon will do. Okay, we were all over the place today. Yes, uh, a little but lack of organization in the kitchen. 2018 Summit Award. Uh, you know, we, uh, we're very proud that the province of Ontario uh, stands behind Freshwater Cuisine, our innovative products, our creative products. Uh, we're excited for 2018. Um, <clears throat> we have some big things on the horizon, don't we? Uh, 2018 will be a big year for Freshwater Cuisine. We're moving to the west. Maybe one day. Oh, we'll... look at that. Oh, it's melting. Now we just need. The... You know what? Here. We're grilling the bacon now. How's that? Looks like some medium rare bacon right now. So, uh. Before we were on this, we were on walleye, weren't we? Yeah, we were on a walleye street. Okay, so, uh, next week, do we go back on walleye? I think we probably keep doing right, some walleye. Everyone only, likes walleye. We only did uh, one episode walleye. I would do walleye. Yeah, because we missed an episode. Everyone likes walleye. Okay, so we'll go back to walleye. And I think we're going to do uh, walleye flatbread or walleye pizza. Yeah. That okay. Walleye around. flatbread or walleye pizza. Could be a good one. That's a good one, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> Or, I mean, if anyone has suggestions on what we should do with walleye. Look at that corn. Throw them out there. There's two seconds and the bacon's cooked. Nice and crispy. Okay, so we just take our bacon right on top. Beautiful. Right there, we got a white fish. Beautiful whitefish burger, don't we? Beautiful. With a local uh, local roasted vegetable salad with beets, sweet potato, a red onion, uh, a pepper from the fridge. But yet the uh, onion in the burger and the lettuce on the burger is And local. the bun. And the bun. So, folks, you can still get local products in the middle of the wintertime. You can do phenomenal things with local fish, just like we did here. Something like this. This is a beautiful, this, you know, Taraz. Why wouldn't Taraz? Hey, Roberto. F and B. Roberto. Right here, buddy. Right here. Anyways, next week, tune in, and uh, we're going to do something with walleye. 